The method section describes everything that was done in a study. You should include enough detail that another researcher could read that section and completely replicate your research. Most method sections include at least four types of information. Number one, participants or subjects. Who participated in your study? Were they college students, young children, or older adults? How many were there? How were they recruited? And did they receive anything in return for their participation? And do you have any demographic information? The key here is to completely describe your sample. Number two, design. What were the independent and dependent variables in the study? How are they defined? Was the independent variable measured within subjects or between subjects? And how was the dependent variable measured? You should clearly describe each of these details. Number three, materials. What did your participants interact with? What were the materials? How did you get them? If you used a variety of materials, how many did you use? The key here is to clearly describe each of the materials you used so that someone else could easily replicate your design. Number four, procedure. What did your participants do? You'll need to describe everything that happened in complete detail. This includes when and where the study took place, what happened and in what order, and any other information that would be needed to replicate your study. Now, depending on the type of study you did, you may need to include even more information. This may seem challenging at first, but you can write almost any method section using this very simple procedure. First, make a list of all of the different types of information that someone would need to replicate your work. Then, fill out that list, using complete sentences for each information type. Organize what you have into separate subheadings in APA style, and after that, the first draft of your method section is complete. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below. And for more on research papers, please visit the UCSD Psychology website.